Hi there. Mr. Nelson is right back, but this time it's uh, pretty much different from the first one. Because in the first one we had, you know, on Sundays, especially for beginners, but today is Tuesday. On Tuesdays, we have the intermediate level. For the intermediate level, I mean those are people that already speak English. They do not speak the language very well, but they can manage. That means those of you who can match, who can get by, who can say a few words or can keep up a conversation for a few minutes in English, depending on the, on the type of subject or depending on the subject. So today, we are starting. The first lesson is this one. Today is Tuesday with your teacher, your coach, your friend, Mr. Nelson on Will Mix Production. Okay, let's get started. Today we're going to talk about agent nouns. I believe everybody who is watching right now understands the word agent. Agent is someone or something that represents another. For example, if I have to do something and someone goes and does it or represents me, that person goes out and represents me, that person is my agent. You know, soccer players, singers, actors, many different people, different professions have agents. They have people that represent them. We can call these people representative in other way. I mean, in other words, as a matter of fact. So, agent noun is usually a noun that is formed or from a verb by just adding, of course, a suffix of two or three letters to this verb to turn it into a noun. We call this noun an agent noun because at first it came from or it comes from a verb. Okay, let's look at this. Teach is the verb and the person who teaches is a teacher. Act is a verb and the person who acts is an actor or actress. Sail is a verb. The person who sails is a sailor. Dance is a verb. And the person who dances is a dancer. Work is a verb. And the person who works is a worker. Now, there is something that is very important when it comes to agent nouns. Remember, after an agent noun, we do not use another noun, which happens all the time. I know lots of people that say, Teacher John, Teacher Nelson. Agent nouns do not take other nouns after them. That means you do not place another noun after an agent noun. I can say John is a teacher, but not Teacher John. Okay, but if you are my friend, informally, when it comes to informal English, I can say Teacher John because John now is considered a nickname, like Johnny, diminutive. Pete, Teacher Pete, Teacher Jack. But formally, I should not say teacher plus a name. I can say Pete is a teacher, John is a teacher, not actor Pete, but Pete is an actor, not, act, not dancer Joel. Joel is a dancer. Okay, we do not use a name or another noun after an agent noun. So I am a teacher, not Teacher Nelson. I can say I'm Mr. Nelson because the word teacher comes from a verb and this verb is teach. So the one who teaches is a teacher. So this is all about agent nouns. Right after agent nouns, we have adverbs. I believe everyone understands the term adverbs because you guys, you know, you probably have learned these things in school. You know, you remember when you were in school, you learned these things. Parts of speech. You remember this? Parts of speech. There are basically eight parts of speech. There are eight parts of speech. 
we have a word can be a noun. A word can be a pronoun. A word can be an adverb. A word can be a verb. A word can be an adjective. A word can be, you see, a conjunction. We have six, but they are eight. A word can be what? See, now a word can be a preposition. A word can be an, an interjection. There are eight parts of speech. So, adverbs, adverbs is one of the parts of speech. Okay, when I say parts of speech, I mean nature of words. What does a word represent? When I place a word in a sentence, is this word an adverb? Is it a noun? Is it a conjunction? Is it a pronoun? What is it exactly? So this is what we call parts of speech. For example, when I look at this here, I say, teach. Teach is what? Teach is a verb. So the part of speech of teach is verb. When I say teacher, the part of speech of teacher is noun. So that this is what we call parts of speech. It's the nature of words. What does the word represent in grammar? What's the name of this word? Is it a noun? Is it a pronoun? Is it an adjective? Is it an adverb? Is it a conjunction? Is it an, an interjection? What is it? Okay, that's what we call parts of speech. Okay. Let's go on with the first parts of speech that we have. The first part of speech we have is adverbs. What is an adverb? What is an adverb? You see here, an adverb is what? It's a word. What does this word do? It's a word that can modify. Modify. Let's look at the word modify. What's the meaning of modify? When you modify something or someone, that means there's a change that happens in that thing, that place, that animal, or that person. For example, if someone smokes cocaine, if you smoke cocaine, for example, so there's a modification, there's something that happens to your, and on your body, this change is a modification. Whether this increases your, this increases you physically or it, it decreases you physically, it modifies your body, your mind, your mental. That's, this is exactly what modify means. It means change. It could change for the better or for the worse. Okay, so an adverb is a word that modifies, that changes an adjective a verb or another adverb. So modify is change. So you can change something to make it better or to make it worse. You can change something to increase the capacity, to amplify it, to reinforce it, or you can change it to decrease it, to lessen or to reduce the capacity. This is what modify means. This is exactly what an adverb does. It modifies a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. But in this chapter, in this lesson, we are not going to talk about all adverbs. We are just going to talk about adverbs of manner. If you look at the word manner, so manner means way. The way something is, the way you do something, it's the manner. The way you drive, the way you speak, the way you dance is the matter. So adverbs of matter tell about the way something is done, the way you do something. But how do you form adverbs of matter? So adverbs of matter are usually adjectives that you add ly to. When you have an adjective and you add l, why to this adjective, 
This adjective becomes an adverb. And this is an adverb of manner. So, it comes out to be an adverb of manner. You see? This is what happens. It's an adjective that you add ly to, which becomes an, ad an adverb. And what kind of adverb? It becomes an adverb of manner. And what does ly mean? ly means in a way. If you dance, if you dance in a graceful way, you dance in a graceful way. Graceful is an adjective. Way is a noun in a graceful way. So you dance gracefully. If you sing in a beautiful way, you sing in a beautiful way. So you sing beautifully. If you drive in a careful, you see, in a careful way, you drive carefully. Got it. So if you speak in a careless in a careless way, you speak carelessly. So this is what I call adverbs of matter because it tells about the way you do something, the matter you do it. This is what I call adverbs of matter. Okay, we're gonna go on. I'm going to erase a little bit so I can give you more examples that I believe those examples can help you understand the way better. But just, I'm still here. I'm still here. I am still here. Okay, let's look at this. I said adjective plus ly. For example, this is careful, which is what? Careful is what? It's an adjective. And I add ly to it. What happens to this adjective? It becomes an adverb. For example, I said in a in a way, he drives in a careful way. If he drives in a careful way, and I don't want to say he drives in a careful way, I just say he drives. You see, he drives carefully. He drives carefully. Carefully is an adverb. And what kind of adverb is it? It's an adverb of manner. Because it tells about the way he drives. Okay? See? Of course, I do erase. Okay, now, let, let's look at another one. I say, he, oh, let's see. She dances in a graceful way graceful is an adjective you see in a way she dances in a graceful way and this adjective can become an adverb and i have she dances she dances grace noun full gracefully you see that's the adverb so gracefully is an adverb this is exactly what we call adverbs of matter. I teach in a clear way. I teach clearly. I teach, I walk in a slow way. I walk slowly. So this is what I call adverbs of matter. Got it. I believe you understand. But hmm, not every word that ends in L-Y is an adverb. No, 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 no. Not every word. Oh, let's find out. Let's find out. Remember what I said. Remember what I said. Bear that in mind. I said, to have an adverb of manner, you need to have what? An adjective plus L-Y. An adjective plus ly. That means if I have another word, a word that has a different part of speech, and that word ends in ly, it is not an adverb. Let's find out. 
Let's look at this. Love is what? Love is a noun. Love is a noun. But when someone says, lovely, the person does not have an adverb. No way. Mm -mm. This is not an adverb. When you have a noun plus ly, it becomes what? It becomes an adjective. It becomes an adjective, not an adverb. Hmm. Got it? For example, let's look at the word friend. Friend is what? Friend is a noun. Friendly is not an adverb. It's an adjective. <laughs> you see? She has a lovely voice. Yes. Just as I said, when you have a noun plus ly, this noun does not turn out to be an adverb. This noun becomes an adjective because once you add ly to a noun, you do not have a, an adverb. You have an adjective. For example, someone who has a lovely voice, so lovely now is an adjective. When you say he is friendly, he is friendly, friendly is not, an, is not an adverb, it's an adjective. You see? So John is friendly. It qualifies John. It tells you about John. It tells you how John is. He's friendly. She's lovely. So lovely is not an adverb. So this is it. Today we talked about agent nouns, adverbs, the definition of adverbs. We just talked about adverbs of matter and the difference between adverbs which are formed from adjective plus ly and noun which are f some adjectives which are which are formed with adjective with noun plus ly and those nouns are not adverbs when you add ly to them they become adjectives that means love is a noun plus ly so it becomes an adjective Friend is a noun, plus ly, friendly becomes an adjective, not an adverb. That means not every word that ends in ly is an adverb. So they may have different parts of speech. Noun plus ly, adjective. Adjective plus ly, adverb. And something else to remember, not every word that ends in ly is an, not every adverb that ends in ly is an adverb of matter. We'll be talking about it in the next lesson. That was your friend, your coach, your teacher. See you in the next lesson. Remember, enjoy it and practice.